Good, good morning. I hope that you're having a great time here at Art and Culture Monday. With me, as you can see, is Dr. Susan Getimu. Haribu sana. How are you Thank doing? You How was your week? Not bad. Mm -hmm. Quite enjoyable. Still good? Yeah. <laughs> I know you are here and there trying to organize the wi but before we get there, mm -hmm. can you kindly introduce yourself? Tell us what you do because you are an, an empowered <laughs> woman, actually. Already. Exactly. Uh, okay. My name is Dr. Susan Getimu. I'm a lecturer at uh, Kenyatta University mm -hmm. at the Department of Communication, Media, yes. Film and Theatre Studies. Mm -hmm. I am also the award director for Women in Film Awards. Yes. It is the first Women fi in Film Awards in Kenya yeah. that will be taking place on Wednesday this week at the Kenya National Theatre. Yes, yeah. amazing. Um, just a background story, tell me, why, why did you feel there was a need to create uh, women, women in Film Awards? Yes. Uh, the idea actually came uh, November last year, mm -hmm. November 15th. Mm -hmm. We attended a Women in Film pre-conference yes. that was organized by ASMO. Mm -hmm. ASMO, it is uh, Alliance for Slam Media Organization. Yes. And they brought in women filmmakers across the country and you know, we never hear so much of women filmmakers, eh? yes, and we don't even know who we are, but the hall was full. For two days, 14th and 15th, yes. we had so many women filmmakers there, and then we realized, where are they? Where have they been hiding? Yes. Yeah. We also thought, when is the best time yes. to have the awards? And then we realized, International Women's Day yes. yeah, is in March, yes. so we had to work very fast to have uh, the awards within that International Women uh, theme. Yes, when which, the focus is on, on women. Yes, when the yes. focus is on women. Mm -hmm. So, but the awards, uh, the International Women's Day is on 8th, yes. and it is on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we thought, since we cannot have the event on a Sunday, yes. which is the other best day for the event. Yes. And we thought of a Wednesday, because yeah. Wednesday is ladies' night. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yes, we look forward to uh -huh. a great event. Yeah. Um, amazing. Yeah. So just um, like a backup kidogo, do you feel like 10, 20 years uh, before today, mm -hmm. uh, have we actually made strides as women in the film industry? Do you feel like women have come in and actually taken crucial parts in, in film and production? Um, actually, I can say yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we are seeing more women filmmakers yes. coming up. And even when you look at the history of filmmaking in Kenya, mm -hmm. you'll feel like the pioneers of filmmaking are actually women. Yes. When you hear of people like uh, Dr. Anne Mungai yes. with her first film, Saikati. Yes. When you uh, look at uh, women like uh, uh, Wanjiro Kenyanjui. Mm -hmm. yeah? So women, they have come a long way. And yes. they're actually even changing the narrative yes. in, in the stories that we are here, that we are seeing in films. Yes. So you find that whereas you find films where women are more like um, uh, damsel in distress yes. or women, they are misrepresented in films. When, we, when the women filmmakers come on board and they are making films, yes. they are giving us films of more empowered women, yeah. women who are taking up uh, roles. Yes. Yeah? So we can see there is gradual change with women filmmakers coming on board. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Could you say that women filmmakers are able to express women issues in the right way? Exactly, mm -hmm. because they understand those issues. Exactly. They know they are not damsel in distress. Yes. So they are bringing up narratives that now we are seeing women, uh, instead of just being cast as housewives, as maids, yes. now they are, we are having women uh, who are taking up roles of CEOs in a company, yes. heading particular uh, big companies. Yes. We are also finding films that are driven by the woman. Yes. character yes the woman is the main character driving this film yeah. and these films they are just amazing exactly yeah. because i've seen a number of them and i'm thinking wow great representation exactly. because as much as um men can be able to tell the stories just as well but i feel they will not tell it from a point of experience yeah, you know yeah, it yeah. comes out yeah. better when the owner of the story tells very the, true. tells very the true. story very amazing so um why far why why just recognize women alone uh other awards yes they recognize men yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay for instance when you when you go to many uh film awards you'll find most of these categories they are taken by men yes. yeah yes. not that we are seeing that uh, uh not that we are against it eh? mm -hmm. but we wanted to recognize women yes. we don't want women filmmakers recognized outside the country 
and that is what is happening yes yeah you hear uh, these women and mungai has been recognized outside the country exactly uh, wanuri kahyu has been recognized outside the country exactly. but what are we doing for these women here here uh, in our country yes here in our country yes and that's the purpose of wifa i like i i like that purpose <laughs> exactly <laughs> like can we, can we recognize them at home before we they recognize are recognized them at home before they are exactly. recognized outside by, yeah. by the yeah. world yeah. what are some of the categories of the, of the women that you are recognizing Uh, for this first one we had 14 categories mm-hmm. so we are looking at uh, the best producer best director yes best actress best um, sound design yes. lighting uh, set design yeah. editor upcoming producer yeah. we have women who are coming up with uh, getting into uh, producer yeah. and then uh, the do I call it the cream that are cream yes the most influential woman personality in the film industry that wow. is the, now the biggest award for the for the wifa yes. yeah i i sure hope to be there and i uh, what i like about those categories specifically is that even sound design you know that things that are normally left to for men to do exactly. things like sound exactly. design like things to do with <laughs> in a certain director here apendi to kita hizi vitu za sound mawaya <laughs> but technical technical yes, work and yes. cable work yeah. i like that there are, there are categories that women are actually participating mm-hmm. to yeah. to work in and this category you really is some of these categories are technical like lighting sound uh sometimes women shy away from them yes for particular reasons but one of the objectives of wifa mm-hmm. is to also empower women yes. to uptake uh film production yes. in any category we don't have to settle editing is good i love yes. editing by the way yes editing is good but we don't have to settle for makeup only we don't have to settle for editing only yes. we can take up all these other roles that are that are rather in filmmaking yes. yes wow amazing i would like to hear specifically because i know there are thousands of nomi- of, of people and uh, hundreds of nominees mm-hmm. what are what are who are the nominees in this creme de la creme category uh the nominees for the most influential women personality so we have uh Gigi Wilson yes from Gigi Inc yes we have um uh Wanjiro Kenyanjui yes uh Wanjiro Kenyanjui is known for her film Birth of a Sacred Tree yes we have uh Anne Dr Anne Mungai yes she's a lecturer here at KU yes. and also she's known for Psychiatry Psychiatry 1 and 2 yes And then we have uh, Judy Kibinge. Yeah. Judy Kibinge is known for Dokubox. Yes. And uh, then we have um, Joki Mohoho. Yes. Joki Mohoho is the director uh, multi choice talent film yes. uh, academy. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that that is tough competition. Like, is tough you know, competition yes, they're not sure. just yeah. it's not just one who is standing out of them all, they but all each have exactly yeah. all of yeah. them are very outstanding yeah. in that field. Mm. Amazing. Now I will The event is happening on the th- on the 4th on right the 4th, yes. this this Wednesday yes. where are we getting the tickets The tickets are free actually yes. you can <laughs> wow the k- <laughs> why <laughs> can we just go right now and start preparing <laughs> for the event Yes the tickets are free yes you can go to Eventbrite mm-hmm. uh, and get your free ticket exactly. and then you're going to be added on the list for the guests exactly yeah. where where is the event happening? the event will take place on uh, at uh, Kenya National Theater mm-hmm. from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. yes yes amazing Kenya National Theater we we have had many many events at the Kenya oh, National yes, Theater yes, yes. I'm sure whoever is watching knows Kenya National Theater exactly. the entry is free the what what would you like women to take away from this awards happening the the first the very first edition happening this 2020 mm-hmm. what would you like women to take away from it uh I think women should leave the awards ceremony feeling empowered. Yes. They should leave the awards ceremony feeling that yes we can do this. Yes. Yeah. We don't have to hide. Mm-hmm. We don't have and also they can leave feeling celebrated. And one thing we realized is that as women feel make us use on it to celebrate ourselves. Yes. And make You know the way I can have like a profile on social media mm-hmm. yes I'm Dr Susan Getimo but instead of my social media page it is uh I'm a mom yeah ah oh. yeah so when somebody is coming to is looking for me they don't know where to find me they don't have a profile of myself exactly. yeah so no matter what little you are doing in the industry and that is what Wifa does mm-hmm. Wifa is recognizing the woman filmmaker of any category 
And that is why you see, in our nominees, we even have students from KU yes. who have been nominated. As, much, as long as outside there, they are doing something. Yes. Yeah? And that is why the nominations, we are not the ones who nominated. Mm -hmm. The nominations came from the public. Yes. And then the public again voted for this, for the people who, who are going to receive their awards. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. So basically, mm -hmm. they will feel empowered and they can be able to to continue with their journey of filmmaking yes yeah. will will this be an annual thing oh yes this will be an annual thing mm -hmm. taking place on march yes yeah yes as we celebrate the international women exactly day, yeah. so a day in march where as we celebrate international women's yeah. day we will be also uh, giving women awards who are actually doing great exactly. what is the future for wifa well uh I think some of these things you keep on growing and that is what we, we, we want to do. We keep on growing and also we identify yes. areas that we can be able to partner with different organizations that we can be able to empower women. Yes. If we can be able to offer training, if we can be able to to link the women filmmakers to the industry, yes. yeah, which is very important. How do they sell their content? How do they uh, market themselves? Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that we look to do as WIFA, not just to showcase the women as filmmakers, but also to, to take them to that other level. Yes. Yeah. And do, do you feel like film governing bodies in the country need to do something specific for women who are in the film industry? Well, I must say that um, honestly, I think for me, I feel the film industry has grown. Mm -hmm. And so we see uh, when you look at what Kenya Film Commission is doing, yes. they are going to the let me call it machinani and empowering, uh, and empowering um, filmmakers. Mm -hmm. And I still wish that we can encourage more women to go for these empowerment programs. Yes. Yeah. So that we don't want to get something like charity. Yes. Let us also work. Let us work for it. Exactly. It's equally charity. Yes. Let us work for it. Let us also show our muscle and show that by the way we can do this. Exactly. Yeah. If if anything, it feels better when you have worked for it exactly. rather than exactly. when, when it is just handed, handed over to you. To you. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Wow. So what is I, I I like the specific category of upcoming producers yeah. and women directors. Yeah. What is the one word you would tell them? Probably someone was not nominated this time. They're just struggling to you know make sure their first film has has come together. Come exactly. Um, this award is all about recognition. Yes. So I would say that even if you don't go with the trophy, of course you cannot. We would love to award every <laughs> everyone. everyone who was nominated. But even if you don't go home with the trophy, yes. feel that you have been recognized. Yeah. Feel that you are doing something and do not stop there. Exactly. Keep, keep, um, keep doing what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. I would say as much as there are baby steps. One day they will pay off. True. One day you are going to get your big break. Yeah? yeah. And no matter where you start, we 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 are appreciating you. And just keep what you're doing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Because of our time, I don't want you to live here without giving you a chance because this is Women International Week. Officially, we have started <laughs> celebrating them. Mm -hmm. Like to just give you a chance to celebrate a number of women that you actually feel have have really grown, have used their muscle to attain something. Could be your mom, whoever you want. Yeah, uh, my mom. Yes. Actually, my mom was the first sponsor yes. for the WIFA. Amazing. I was so humbled <laughs> by the way when I told her yes. that I want to do the Women in Film Award. Yes. But also, I would like to um, mention some women filmmakers who are really uh, keeping it, yeah? yeah, keeping it real. Yes. Uh, uh, Betty Furet. Yes. Or once in a while, not even once in a while, we keep seeing her films coming up. Yes. Uh, we've seen uh, women like uh, uh, Pillow Talk. Did you watch Pillow Talk? Yes. I, yeah. We were actually having the trailer for Pillow Talk last Monday. Yeah. Last Monday, but one. Mm -hmm. And amazing, amazing. Yeah. Yes. So I would like to celebrate every woman filmmaker. Yes. Who is